What? What is that? Oh, he should have had a Jew rag. He should have had a Jew rag. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Jew rag. <laughs> Alright, y'all. <clears throat> we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, listen, listen. If you a scaredy cat, you might not be able to get through this video now. So today, we finna be watching the most dangerous insects or small animals, whatever you want to call them. They're just the most dangerous creatures of all. You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, I'm not really scared of animals. I'm not really scared of insects. The only insects I'm scared of, right? I could do mosquitoes. I could do spiders. I could do ants. I could do all them bugs. You feel me? I can. I don't even kill them when they come to my house. I put them on a piece of paper and send them outside because I don't like killing bugs. So I feel like that's just evil spirits in my house. And plus, I feel bad because it's like, dang, somebody's, like the ant's dad went out. To get them food and the dad never came back. I would hate for that to happen to my dad. So why would I do that to like the aunt's dad? You feel me? That's how I be feeling when I be ready to just like kill a bug real quick before I escort it out my house. But I don't do that. I just ask them out my house. But like I'm saying, <clears throat> I'm not scared of these these insects. The only insects I'm actually scared of, I don't like wasps and I do not like bees. I don't like the buzzing by my ears that freaks me the heck out. I've been stung about five times all around my eye. And I'm just very, very, very terrified of wasps and bees. Um, but I could do every other bug. When I was a kid, I used to be scared of butterflies. I ain't even hold you. I probably am still. They just, butterflies, they just move too weird. Like, you know, flies, they move straight lines. Butterflies, they were like, ooh, ooh, ooh. They were just going stupid for no reason. I don't like them. They're weird. But, um, so I'm assuming I'm going to watch this and not be scared at all. But y'all let me know in the comments down below what insects y'all are scared of. Y'all probably scared of all this stuff. I ain't scared of spiders. Everybody be scared of spiders, man. I ain't scared of no spiders. But before we get into the video, Joy.com, I seen my two with third fruits, but up to so fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? We got the heat. Straight five. If you a waiver, you need a Jew rag. If you got an ugly hairline, you need a Jew rag. If you got braids, you need a Jew rag. If you got twists, you need a Jew rag. If you got dreads, you need a Jew rag. If you a person, you need a freaking Jew rag. So go to Jewrag.com. Man, you could create a bundle and save yourself fifty dollars. You know how much you could do with fifty dollars? Fifty dollars worth of freaking stuff, so go do it. Anyway, let's just get right into this, man. Like the video for more reactions. If you want me to react to anything specific, then miss me over there on Instagram at Juver underscore. Then me the link to the video. And if I do the, if I react to the video, I shout you out. You know what I'm saying? I give you a little clout. So you can be like, oh, I made Juver do this video. I'm an influential part in Juver's life. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's just get right into this. Deadliest insects are not necessarily the largest or the scariest looking. The heck is that? There are many insects in our world that deserve to be feared and avoided, despite their size and appearance. Without proper treatment, some insects oh, oh. result in death. Even some of the deadliest diseases are transmitted by these insects. Oh! To help you identify any oh, what the f what the f what the f what the f is that? What the f is that? What the f is that? Oh, oh, why is skin so flaky? Is this a nipple? What is, I don't even want to look at it, it's making my mouth just, Rangers, we compiled a compendium of the top 20 most dangerous I don't want that. Y'all keep that today. crap. What the heck and is that? And if you see this, you must run away and ask for help. So what him? Giant Japanese hornets. So hornets, bees, I don't do that. I don't do none of them stuff. These guys are not to be taken lightly. They are one of the most dangerous. Oh, oh ain't no freaking. Two to three inches. This hornet carries a toxin that often leads to paralysis, kidney failure, and death, oftentimes a slow one, in those that are bitten. Much like mosquitoes, this Asian pest is- Wait, wait, I got stuck on the three. He was holding it like this, like it was a little- It was holding it- Like usually you hold a wasp like this in your fingers if you're stupid enough to do it. He was holding that bit like this. He was holding it like a freaking water bottle. And they say that y'all make you paralyzed? <laughs> yeah, I'm- I promise you, if I see any bee, anything, if I see any anything that look like this piece of crap, I'm running for my freaking life. Attracted to humans who sweat, drink alcohol, <laughs> smell sweet, or are running. So Wait, it's attracted to people that sweat? I'm sweating right now, literally. I'm literally, if y'all can see it on my forehead, but it's under the jewelry. Jewelry.com, my tooth. But it's under the jewelry, I'm sweating. It's attracted to people that smell sweet? Destiny always say she let away I smell, so I'm assuming I'm a sweet smelling man. She says she she be attracted to people that run. I'm black. We always running. She said people that drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, so I should be straight. I should be straight. So when vacationing in Asia, consider this hornet when you are deciding on activities. Army ants. 
Now we're getting serious. Before you laugh at us, know that army ants are really the most dangerous insects in the world. Unlike other ant types, these are predators that actively seek prey and food. They build small colonies everywhere. Oh, what the f is that? that? Insects and other small species. The army ants can actually consume half a million animals each day if the entire colony goes on a hunt. Army ant hunting groups called swarm raids or column raids can be 200,000 to 20 million ants no standing out into a 15 to 110 yard wide swath of voracious killers. They fall into a carefully organized cycle based on the hatching and growth cycle of the young. Yellow jackets. Oh no. You do not want to piss I off do this not. dog. Well, you might think it's just a little bee. Know that the German yellow jacket found in North America is an aggressive insect that can sting you multiple times and cause a lot of pain. They will even go to mark their provokers and pursue them to attack. Watch out for this one. Indeed, the most dangerous insects around the world. Thick tail scorpion. Just by its name, you already know not to mess with it, right? Not typically a bug, but most dangerous animal kind for sure. One of the most dangerous types of scorpions usually found in South Africa deserts and best recognized because of their thick tails that can spit venom. If you are hit with venom, it will cause extreme pain, paralysis, and even death. Why everything called paralysis, man? That's so sad, like being paralyzed. Imagine being paralyzed from the waist down. You can never anymore, you feel me? Why do you feed it cockroaches, though? So be aware of this bug at all costs. The cow killer. The cow killer is a solitary wasp, more likely to be seen alone than in nests with hundreds of others. This wasp species is parasitic to bumblebees. When it's just a few, it's not lethal. But if the cow steps on any, a chemical signal in the venom gland, an alarm pheromone, is released that mobilizes the colony for group attack. There's venom coming from the saliva, and then there's the true venom gland. At that point, a small child or a person with a suppressed immune system could be at risk. Lice. Oh no, I don't got this, I'm black. Uh, black people can't get lice, right? Wait, it's dangerous? Like, it kill people? No. While your children play outside this summer, make sure you check them for head lice afterward. Head lice are found worldwide, but in the United States, That's what lice look like. 6 million to 12 million infestations each year among children 3 to 11 years of age. While the bugs themselves aren't dangerous, they are hard to get rid of, can spread easily, and can cause secondary infections brought on by itching. Black. Yeah, see, I'm black. I don't gotta worry about it. All my white viewers, wash your hair, keep your hair clean. During the summertime, it's summer right now. I want y'all to stay safe. I don't want y'all itching. I don't want y'all. I'm concerned for y'all. I'm concerned for you. Everybody else might not be, but I'm concerned for you. Just keep your hair washed up, man. Or, you know a better idea? Jurad.com, if you protect your head, they can't get to your hair. You know what I'm saying? They see a Jurad, they're like, oh no, we can't even mess with that man. That man dripped out. You forget yourself a Jurad. Yes, white people can wear Jurads too, man. I'm telling y'all. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, you know what I'm saying? Black Widow Spiders. Black Widow Spiders, which are found in every U.S. state except Alaska, are about the size of a half dollar and typically have a red hourglass shape on their backs. While the Black Widow Spider usually bites only if it feels threatened, its bites are painful and can even require a trip to the hospital. Most painful and deadly Ooh. insects can be found around gardening tools or gloves, sheds, corners of garages, and other dark, undisturbed areas. The Ticks Ticks can be very tiny and some can also carry Lyme disease. Prevalent throughout North America, ticks can attach themselves to exposed skin. I go hold y'all. So we got a house in Pennsylvania, right? Me and my family got a house in Pennsylvania. We was out there for AIDS for who birthday? For one of my sister's birthdays or something recently, a couple months ago. Y'all probably know me and Destiny was out there. That was the first time Destiny met my parents. I think, yeah, yeah, that was the first time Destiny met my parents, right? So when we out there, we went into the woods, right? Cause our house is surrounded by Lily Woods. We the only people on the streets, just mad acres, right? We was in the woods, took a little walk. We come back, Thaddeus had a tick in his ear. Like it was just in there stuck. My dad had to like yank it out cause they don't come out easy. You know what I'm saying? He had to yank that jaw out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. Cause, but do ticks kill people? I don't think so. After time spent outdoors, it's important to do a full body check for ticks and to remove any ticks immediately. Oh, that's what they look like. Oh, wait. Spent outdoors, it's important to do a full body check for ticks and to remove any. They be head diving into your. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't even want to look at that. They be head diving into your. Uh, your skin. I didn't see what it looked like in is Thaddeus's ear. Oh, it's gonna make me throw up, man. Oh, that's just. Oh, my body's shaking. I'm never going in the woods again. They head dive. Why do they head dive in there though?
Why they dab their whole head in there though? Like they be like, Ugh. they start your head in your mouth. Why that? Ooh, I don't even want to look. Play it. Anything I don't want to see that no more. Removal Stop of a lung it. disease carrying deer tick within 36 hours can reduce your risk of getting the disease. The fleas. The fleas' life is spent searching for a place to call home where they can enjoy a meal of sweet, warm blood. These little parasites can be found on reptiles, mammals, domestic animals, and humans. But my body itching right now, man. I ain't for the whole job, bro. Like, I've been trying to like not do it cause like the video or whatever, but my whole body itching right now. I don't like this. I don't like this, man. Uh, Samson had fleas one time, but um, my dog had fleas one time, but we got rid of it. But it did, it did take a while to get rid of it. My whole body itching, this is bad. What the heck going on? This little pest has caused devastation over the centuries. The Black Plague and Typhus are a couple of flea-borne diseases that have been devastating to communities. Brown Recluse Spider. Native to the Midwestern and Southern United States, Brown Recluse Spider. I gotta check my room, make sure there ain't no buzz around here, man. Having a violin-like shape on their back, these spiders can range in color from brownish tan to yellow tan. Most deadly insects, one bite when provoked, infrequently, bites in the early stages produce systemic reactions accompanied by fever, chills, dizziness, rash, or vomiting. Severe reactions to the venom are more common in children, the elderly, and patients in poor health. Persons bitten by a brown recluse spider should apply ice, elevate the affected area, and seek medical attention immediately. Killer bees. I don't know. How can these cute little fuzzy pollen- Who the heck, who the heck said these bees is cute? Who's this stupid narrator talking about cute bees? Some things is disgustingly ugly. Collecting and honey making insects be a danger. These most dangerous insects of all time are very territorial and will protect their queen with their life. With the introduction of the Africanized bee, this trait has been crossbred into the American honeybee, making them more aggressive and unpredictable. When an attack is imminent, it comes with an army of angry bees that give signals to all that the danger must be eliminated. When handling beehives, it is best to enlist the help of a professional. They can help you remove and relocate the That's a professional? This is a professional. The heck you put this man on the screen for you said professional. Wait, is it is it on his face right now? Hide to a more safe. What the heck going on? Cockroaches. These worst insects that are known to be able to live through a nuclear attack, no kidding, they can survive for months without food or water. They can carry many harmful diseases for humans, and you should be careful not to touch or let it crawl on you. Cockroach droppings contain proteins that trigger allergies and asthma attacks in some people. They may even cause children to develop asthma. These proteins can linger in the home. I ain't know cockroaches did all this. Cockroaches is just disgusting as a whole. I used to be like, if I ever went to a girl house and I seen cockroaches, dubbing her instantly. Instantly. This is just freaking disgusting. Even longer than the feces themselves, remaining dangerous for years after the roaches themselves have gone. Arizona bark scorpions. The Arizona bark scorpion is the most deadly insect in North America. You can find this fellow in Southwest America and Southern Utah. If you get bitten by this scorpion, you will vomit, experience extreme pain and numbness. Although dying from this bite is unlikely, elderly and young children are more at rest. In the wild, they lie under rocks crevices and trees, but they are also easy to find indoors, especially in sinks, tubs, drawers, and dark cabinets. This is the only species of scorpion in Arizona that is truly considered as life-threatening. Fire ants. These deadliest insects of all time build their colonies on the ground in soil and sand, very close to your feet. If you're not careful, your feet can be covered in record time and the biting begins before you even have a chance to get away. Fire ants are very protective of their colonies and so intruders are given no mercy. Not only are these bites painful, but they can cause very severe reactions, especially in those with fire ant allergies. How the heck do you know if you have a fire ant an, an allergy unless you get freaking bit by a fire ant? That's what I always be wondering. Like, how the heck somebody know they're allergic to bees? So they get stung by being died. Like, at this point, you dead. Like, you, oh, I guess I'm allergic to bees when you start dying? That's when you figure out you're allergic to bees? My God, you dead already. Human bot flies. Oh, this is why I didn't want to see. Before we begin, hit that like button to inspire us. Also, yeah, I don't care about none of this. Mosquito carrying the larva of a human bot fly with it and lands on a human skin, it will just leave it there before flying away. And after a few days, the larva will. Oh, this is that nasty thing I saw before, huh? This is just, oh, that's the nipple I was talking about. 
Why? Grow into an infection under your skin if not treated immediately. Ew. Bot flies usually carry with them life-threatening parasites with their larvae, so don't let them on. What the? F what the? F what the? F is that? What is that? What? What is that? Oh, he should have had a Jew rag. He should have had a Jew rag. He should have had a freaking Jew rag. Hey, you got a whole hole fill of doo doo on your forehead. You ain't bagging no shorties with that big old lump on your head. The heck wrong? Oh my. Oh, throw that's nasty. Oh, my head hurt right now. Hold on. It's something. I feel something. Oh no, this. Ugh. Kissing bug. A bug that gives kisses. How sweet. However, the name is deceiving. It is actually a blood-sucking parasite that is attracted to its feeding sites by breath. So okay, question, God. Got a question for God right now. Like, why? Like, why, why these things here? Like, you know, everything happens for a reason. All things are, like, designed according to God's purpose, everything like that. What the heck is this purpose? To hurt people? This purpose is to hurt people? Why is it? Why? Like, why was this made? Let me know. Like, okay, Noah's Ark, right? Why did Noah put this piece of, piece of, piece of whatever the heck it is on the, on the boat? The heck is this? Huh? Why the heck you got this? For no reason. It, what does it do? Just vent? It just literally just said it causes pain. It is actually a blood sucking a parasite. A blood sucking parasite. To its feeding sites by breath. So if you breathe through your mouth, you are a target. This Why did you get the bug in your mouth? Why do you have the bug in your mouth? You idiot. You he was white, wasn't he? Was he, he was white. Sites by breath. He was so white. You, he was white. You chill on the fucking rock. You chill on the rock, you nasty idiot. Breathe through your mouth, you are a target. This kisser leaves behind a gift after he is done feasting. Chagas, which can be a life What the fuck is that? An estimated 20 to 30 percent of people with Chagas disease experience symptoms 10 to 25 years later. The symptoms are severe and can be life threatening. Setsy fly. This most dangerous bug around the world belongs to the family of the house fly. This insect carries a parasite that travels through the flesh of bitten, leading to death. This death is referred what? to as the sleeping sickness, resulting in certain body parts shutting down and the person becoming comatose. But because of the expensive medication, several go untreated and end up dying. The mosquitoes. Despite their size, they carry life-threatening diseases, and measures should be taken to protect against large infestations. This tiny pest is responsible for much misery and death. Mosquito bites result in the deaths of more than one million people every year. Nowhere in the world is safe from mosquitoes. They are found everywhere, even in Alaska. Ah, I feel stuff crawling on me, man! Stop! Oh, my days. Who made me watch this stupidness? Our areas in the U.S. that are prime real estate for them, but the truth is, hot or warm weather and any puddle of stagnant water is a breeding ground. Ask Caterpillar. It has numerous common names, including Southern Flannel Moth for its adult form, and Pus Caterpillar, Ask, Italian Ask, Woolly Slug, and most commonly, Trump Caterpillar. As you may notice, it looks like the hair of none other than Donald Trump. According to the scientific literature, contact with the fine hairs is an awful experience. Intense, throbbing pain develops immediately or within five minutes of contact with Caterpillar. Some patients liken the amount of pain to a broken bone, kidney stones, or being hit with a hammer or baseball bat. And pain isn't the only symptom. Headaches, nausea, vomiting, intense abdominal distress are common. Man, just by touching the fur? God, again, I'm coming to you asking you, why? Like, why? Like, this is why? Why? You know reason? I go. Cool. Symptoms to the victim. Which one do you find the most dangerous and terrifying? Have you ever encountered any of them? Don't forget to let us know in the comments. Man, if I ever encounter any stupid things, would I be here talking to you, lady? No. I'm finna be itching for the rest of the day. I'm finna be checking every corner of my. I feel it on my. I feel stuff on my leg. I literally feel stuff on my leg right now, man. I'm not even capping. Like, this is just ridiculous. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all itchy too, cause this is this is oh my god, man. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed me like right now, let me know in the comments which one was the worst one. Personally, for me, I think they all freaking bad. Like I, I thought this was gonna be a breeze and it's gonna talk about like spiders and like like regular spiders and stuff. But they talking about spiders that if you touch it, if it even looks at you, you die. Like, what the heck type of spider is that? Folks talking about some if you touch the hair of this caterpillar, you gonna feel like you got hit with a baseball bat. What? Why, why did he even come up with that at? Freaking stupidness. But anyways, y'all. 
Like the video right now. If y'all want me to react to anything else, make sure there's nothing else but bugs. Cause I don't want to do this no more. Y'all DM me on Instagram at Juver underscore. If I react to your video, I'll shout you out now saying. But before you dip out, you know a lot of these, a lot of these, these insects, the ones that now my head itching this up. Do I got lice? Do, uh, tell me right now, do I have lice? Cause my head is literally itching right now. This is crazy. But a lot of these bugs, like they could, you could have, like. Help yourself not get them if you had a Jurag. So go to Jurag.com, buy two and third one for free. You can money up, save yourself fifty dollars. You ain't getting lice. You ain't getting stung in the forehead. You ain't getting that big old lump on your forehead. You ain't getting get, you ain't getting that big old lump with the doo doo in it on your forehead. You ain't getting you ain't getting no fleas. Well, I don't know about the fleas, but you you just you finna be sexy. That's what I'm gonna say. You finna be sexy. But um yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.